Describe the movement of energy and nutrients in an ecosystem. I've underlined, underlined these two main parts, energy and nutrients, for a reason, because we're going to split up the six marks which are allocated to this question and hopefully get three marks at least for energy and three marks each for nutrients. Before we want to do that, what we do first at the very start, we want to define. Let's define an ecosystem. So an ecosystem is a community and it's abiotic environment. Whenever you define these ecosystem type um, questions, you want to think about living and non-living. And community is living, and abiotic environment is non-living. Now let's talk about energy. Where does the energy come from? Well, it originates from the sun. However, the sun shines its sun rays onto plants, and then that's the initial source of energy. So energy originates from producers via photosynthesis. Now, after this energy is made via photosynthesis, then it is transferred from plants to other organisms via um, consumption. Um, and then this transfer from one level to another level is very inefficient, only 10 to 20 percent efficient. And this is because of, of loss of energy as metabolic heat, as um, um, excretion, as inefficient uh, absorption of energy, etc. So a couple of points there. Um, now, we want to talk about nutrients as well. So nutrients are absorbed by organisms from their food. So whenever you have a consumer, then when it consumes a plant, for example, or consumes another organism, then those nutrients are uptaken by, the, by that particular organism and then utilized within itself, also called assimilation. These nutrients are converted into complex molecules and then broken down after, uh, after consumption. So what I'm saying here is that's assimilated and turned into complex molecules while on that organism. And after that organism has been eaten by another organism, it's broken down by that next organism. It's like how um, you build something up and then you break it down again. At the very end of the cycle, we want to talk about the decomposers. And these are saprotrophs and detritivores. And they break down dead matter into simple organic matter, which can then be recycled. So this is the cycle of, of nutrients. You start from the beginning, you start from consumption, and you go th all the way through decomposition.